friends welcome to wifi.com one stop destination for all competitive exam my name is gunesh sharma and today in this video we are going to present you the another topic of static gk that is important monument places in india part 2 in our play, in our previous video our part 1 video we covered the northern part of the india and right now in this second part we are going to cover the center part eastern part and the southern part of the nation okay in english in our previous video we uploaded this in hindi and in our right now we are going to present you in english so this is our application friends this is wifi study app if you want to prepare from the application or the phone mode you can download our this wifi study app this is a very useful app and you can get a daily current affair gk test in both the formats in hindi and in english and you can download it from the google play friends if you have any query or any doubt or if you want to make make any special video you can email us at support@wifi-study.com so friends in this video we are we are going to present you this topic part second part 2 okay so uh, in our part 1 video we covered jnk rajasthan delhi haryana okay all these states northern part of the nation and right now in this video we are going to present you the center and the southern mode so let's start from the madhya pradesh the heart of the nation the center most portion of the nation so from the madhya pradesh there is a one jahangir mahal okay it is made by the veer singh in 17th century jahangir mahal is it is in madhya pradesh taj ul masjid taj ul masjid the name of the taj ul masjid is because this masjid is known as the taj of all the masjid the head of all the masjid okay so that's why it is known as dal ul dal ul masjid it is in bhopal prehistoric rock shelters of bimbitka it is it's important friends you need to remember this that it is an mp okay it is also in the unesco world heritage site prehistoric rock shelters of bimbitka gwalior fort as its name suggests suggest it is in gwalior madhya pradesh jay vilas mahal there is one lakshmi vilas uh, mahal also lakshmi vilas palace it is in gujarat but jay vilas mahal is in madhya pradesh sanchi stupa it is it, uh, this is also important it is the oldest stone structure in india and this place is commissioned by ashoka in 3rd century it is commissioned by ashoka in 3rd century sanchi stupa it is the oldest stone structure in india hindola mahal it is also in madhya pradesh hindola mahal and bandavgarh fort it is important place as 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 i told you in our previous national park video bandavgarh national park there is a one bandavgarh national park it is in madhya pradesh so as bandavgarh fort so all these places are from madhya pradesh and important for exam as bandavgarh fort hindola mahal sanchi stupa jay vilas mahal gwalior fort prehistoric rock shelters of bimbitka taj ul masjid and jahangir mahal so these are the places from madhya pradesh so now let's go to west bengal there is only there are few places from the west bengal first the victoria memorial hall victoria memorial hall is in kolkata and it is important place as okay it is a it is made on the it is made by the britishers victoria memorial hall second asiatic society building it is made asiatic society asiatic society is made by william jones and this building is in kolkata saint john church saint john church is, is considered as the first building extracted by the east india company after making kolkata as capital after east india company make kolkata as their capital this building is considered as their first structure made by them saint john church kuch bihar palace this is also important as this is designed on the model of the buckingham palace in london buckingham palace okay it is a place buckingham palace is a place where queen there is a residence of the queen okay it is a residence place of queen and it is this place kuch bihar is made on that design kuch bihar adina mosque it is a made on the design at the time of the sikandar shah and it is also in kolkata it is also in west bengal adina mosque acharya jagdish bose botanical garden it is also important place the oldest 
ट्री इज इन दिस प्लेस ओके आचार्य जगदीश प्रसाद बॉटनिकल गार्डन इट इज ऑल्सो इन वेस्ट बंगाल सुंदरबन डेल्टा ओके दे इज अन सुंदरबन नेशनल पार्क एंड दिस प्लेस इज नोन एज द लार्जेस्ट डेल्टा प्लेस ओके ब्रह्मपुत्र एंड द गंगा मेक दिस डेल्टा इज द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट डेल्टा दैट इज सुंदरबन डेल्टा शांति निकेतन इट इज अ प्लेस विच इज स्टैब्लिश बाय द रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर एंड इट इज अ स्मॉल टाउन नियर कोलकाता विच इज स्टैब्लिश बाय टैगोर शांति निकेतन इट इज नाउ अ यूनिवर्सिटी टाउन विश्व भारती यूनिवर्सिटी इज इन दिस टाउन शांति निकेतन सो दीज आर द प्लेसेज फ्रॉम द वेस्ट बंगाल एज शांति निकेतन सुंदरबन डेल्टा आचार्य जगदीश बोस बॉटनिकल गार्डन अदीना मॉस्क्यू कूच बिहार पैलेस सेंट जोन चर्च एशियाटिक सोसाइटी बिल्डिंग एंड विक्टोरिया मेमोरियल हॉल ऑल दीज प्लेसेस आर फ्रॉम वेस्ट बंगाल एंड इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम नाउ उड़ीसा धौली साइड ओके इट इज अ ओनली प्लेस विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द उड़ीसा धौली साइड इट इज अ साइड ऑफ द कलिंगा वॉर ओके कलिंगा इज अ वॉर वेयर अशोका आफ्टर दिस कलिंगा वॉर अशोका चेंज इज चेंज इज मेंटेलिटी हिट टर्न इन टू अ बुद्धिज्म बुद्धिस्ट एंड ही स्टार्ट प्लेजिंग बुद्धिज्म ओके इट इज अ प्लेस इन भुवनेश्वर धौली साइड ओके दिस इज अ ओनली इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेस फ्रॉम उड़ीसा एज आई टोल्ड यू वी आर नॉट कवरिंग टेम्पल्स इन दिस सेक्शन ओके वी मेड ए स्पेशल वीडियो फ्रॉम द टेम्पल्स ओनली so we are not covering the temples we are only covering the important monuments or places now telangana we uh, let's go to the telangana region there is a one falaknuma palace it is in hyderabad and this place is considered as the nizam largest palace okay nizam largest palace falaknuma palace it is in telangana char minar it is in hyderabad it is made by the kuli kutub shah kuli kutub shah 1591 it is popular believe that the four minarets stand for caliphs of islam these four minarets shows four caliphs of islam okay four caliphs of islam and it is made by kuli kutub shah char minar it is in hyderabad golconda fort it is also in hyderabad it is made in the 15th century golconda fort warangal fort as the name suggests it is in telangana and its name is warangala fort Kutub Shahi Town. It is also an important place. Kutub Shahi Town. It is in Telangana. Kutub Shahi. So these are the places from Telangana. That is Kutub Shahi Town, Warangal Fort, Golconda Fort, Char Minar, and Falaknuma Palace. So these are the places from Telangana. That is important for your exam. Now Andhra Pradesh. There is only a single place which is important from the Andhra Pradesh. That is Amravati Stupa. Uh, everybody know about that amravati is the capital of the andhra pradesh okay amravati stupa it is in amravati okay now maharashtra janjira fort it is a place between it is a place in the middle of a lake and the, the name of it is janjira fort gateway of india very famous place gateway of india it is made to welcome the king george and queen mary to welcome the king george and queen mary they are the king and the queen of britain at that time when it is made when it was made and uh, the gateway of india was made to welcome king and queen okay you don't need to confuse about the gateway of india and the india gate india gate is in new delhi india gate is in new delhi it is uh, it is in delhi and gateway of india is in mumbai okay india gate is was made on the memory of the world war 1 martyrs and in gate of gate of india was made to welcome the king and the queen cst mumbai designed by the william stevens cst is a full form of cst is the chhatrapati shivaji terminus okay it is formally known as the victoria terminus and it is also a unesco world heritage site and right now it is a quarter of the central railways okay cst Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus. It is in Mumbai, designed by the William Stephens. Ajanta and Alora Caves. It is in Aurangabad, very famous places. Okay, Ajanta Caves and Alora Caves are not on the same places. They are on the different places. They are nearly hundred kilometer different, more than hundred kilometer different between the two places. Ajanta Caves and Alora Caves. Chand Minar. 
there is a one char minar which is in hyderabad and this is chand minar it is in dolatabad maharashtra aga khan palace it is a very important place aga khan place it is in pune maharashtra bibi ka maqbara it is known as the second taj mahal and it is in aurangabad it is made by the azam shah son of aurangzeb azam shah okay in the memory of his mother banu begum banu begum is a uh, she is a wife of the aurangzeb she was a wife of the aurangzeb and her son azam shah made this this building that is bibi ka maqbara okay kondana caves kondana caves it is in raigarh it is made it is made in buddhist style kondana caves it is also in maharashtra so these are the places from maharashtra that is kondana caves bibi ka maqbara aga khan palace chand minar ajanta and alora caves cst mumbai gateway of india and zanjira fort so these are the important places from maharashtra now goa there is only a single place which is important from goa that is basilica di jozam bomb jesus basilica di bomb jesus it is also a unesco world heritage site constructed in 1605 unesco world heritage site basilica di bomb uh, jesus now karnataka there are few places important from karnataka first the gol gumbaz it is in bijapur made by the adil shah you can see in this picture this is the gumbaz this is the gumbaz gol gumbaz okay it is in bijapur made by adil shah mysore palace mysore is a place in uh, karnataka and this mysore palace palace is there ehol badami pathadakal it is also important ehol badami it is also a unesco world heritage site okay ehol badami chand bibi tomb it is also important chand bibi was a female a muslim female warrior and she defended amda ahmad nagar against the mughal forces of akbar in 1595 okay she was a person who defended ahmad nagar against the mughal forces of akbar okay that's why this person and uh, this female warrior is very important and it's tomb it uh, is in karnataka hampi group of monuments hampi it is in hampi and it is located within the ruins of the city of vijayanagar there was a city named vijayanagar and it is located there hampi group of monuments jog fall or grospa fall it is the highest waterfall in india located near sangara taluk okay highest waterfall but if you google or if you see you know, uh, in the wikipedia there was there was a different waterfalls which have a height more than the jog fall also even though this place is considered as the highest waterfall because there is not a there is not a uh, there is not a precise a precise measurement of the any waterfall of the world okay there is not a technique to measure the accurate height of the waterfall okay so that's why this is considered as the highest waterfall jog fall these are the places from karnataka that is jog fall hampi group of monuments chand bibi tomb ehol badami pathadakal mysore palace and gol gumbaz so these are the important places from karnataka now let's go to tamil nadu tamil nadu one is there the vivekananda rock kanyakumari it is in kanyakumari vivekananda rock okay it is a ride it is a place where vivekananda meditated it is a place which is considered as where vivekananda meditated vivekananda vivekananda meditated okay vivekananda is known as the idol play, uh, is an idol of the many youth of the nation so that's why okay this monument was, uh, was made there vivekananda rock it is in kanyakumari victory war memorial victory war memorial it is made on the memory of those from the madras presidency who lo lost their life in the wars okay made for, for those person who lost their life in the wars and who belong to the madras presidency victory war memorial it is in tamil nadu tirumallai nayakar mahal tirumallai nayakar mahal it is in madurai tamil nadu and it is known as it is known for the classic fusion of dravidian and the rajput style dravidian is the southern uh, south style of architect okay and rajputana is the architect style of rajasthan 
so it is a fusion of both the architect style known as the thirumallai nayakar mahal it is in madurai vivekananda house or ilam it is in chennai and it was uh, the important place for the ramakrishna movement in south india ramakrishna paramahan vivekananda was a disciple of the ramakrishna paramahan who was a priest in the kali temple and uh, he started a ramakrishna movement okay to help the uh, to help those people who don't have anybody in this world or the okay so ramakrishna movement he started ramakrishna movement and this place was the important destination of that movement known as the vivekananda house ripun building ripun was the viceroy in the east india company okay in the british in the british government he was a viceroy in the british government so this building is in tamil nadu ripun building janamalai elephant hill it is a structure of elephant it is a structure of elephant you can see in this image okay it is also in tamil nadu janamalai elephant hill there is one maratha palace also known as the tajavur maratha palace tajavur maratha maratha palace complex okay known as the anamalai aranmalai it is a official residence of the bosle family who ruled over the tanjore region from 1674 to 1855 okay this tanjavur maratha palace is the residence of the bosle family bosle family who ruled over the tanjavur region from 1764 to 1855 okay it is also in tamil nadu fort st george fort st george it was a first english fortress which was built by the britishers in 1644 it is also known as the white town it is in chennai fort st george ram setu known as the adams bridge it is a chain of the limestone okay made between made between between pamban island also known as the rameshwaram island which is of the, which is of the southern south eastern coast of tamil nadu and mannar island which is of the north western coast of sri lanka okay it is between the rameshwaram island and the mannar island okay Adams Bridge. It is a chain of limestone, also known as the Ram Setu. So these are the places from Tamil Nadu. That is Ram Setu, Fort Saint George, Tajavur Maratha Palace, Yenna Malai Elephant Hill, Ripon Building, Vivekananda House, Tirumalluva Nayakar Palace, Victoria Victory War Memorial, and Vivekananda House Rock. Okay, Vivekananda Rock, Vivekananda House, Victory War Memorial. These are the places which are important from Tamil Nadu. And now let's go to Kerala. First, the first is the Bolgatti Palace. Bolgatti Palace. It is in Kochi. It is oldest palace palace built by the Dutch in India. Okay, everybody know that there are there was many European companies came to India for their business. Okay, first was the Portuguese. After that, Dutch. english french different fortune different european different european came into the india for their business for their expansion of their business one was dutch from the netherland okay so it is a place bolgatti palace it is in kochi and it is a known as the oldest palace built by dutch in india another is the matanshari palace matanshari palace is also in kochi it is also known as the dutch palace okay which was gifted around 1555 by portuguese to the raja of kochi okay it is gifted by the portuguese but it is known as the dutch palace okay you need to remember this and known as the and the place name of the place is the matanshari palace and another is the bolgatti palace bolgatti and matanshari do both places or palaces is in it is in kochi kerala okay and both are belong to the dutch so these are the important palaces or the monuments or the forts okay of the southernmost nation southernmost part of the nation hope you like it and you you will subscribe us so that we are we will going to help you in your upcoming exam so friends thank you and all the best for your upcoming exams